The experiment is to design and set up a RC coupled common emitter amplifier and to plot the frequency response curve. Uh, RC coupled common emitter amplifier is a, a most widely used amplifier configuration because it is cheap and also it provides excellent audio fidelity over a wide range of frequency. This amplifier is most widely used in the audio frequency applications in radio and TV receivers and also this can be used for voltage amplification. Here, NPN transistor SL100 is used uh, where the base to emitter junction is forward biased and base to collector junction is reverse biased for the proper function of the amplifier. And here, let us see the circuit. Uh, in this circuit, you can see the design here. VCE is equal to 50% of VCC, which is 6 volt. VC is equal to 40% of VCC, which is 4.8 volt. VE is equal to 10% of VCC, that is 1.2 volt. From this, the circuit parameters are designed, that is, RE is equal to 270 ohm, uh, which is connected here, and RC is equal to 1 kilo ohm. And from the base voltage, VB is equal to VBE plus VE which is equal to 1.9 volt by using the voltage divider rule uh, VB is equal to VCC into R2 by R1 plus R2 by uh, choosing R2 is equal to 4.7 kilo ohm R1 is obtained as 22 kilo ohm and uh, to calculate the uh, coupling capacitor and the bypass capacitor value by knowing the capacitance reactance X is equal to RE by 10, for frequency is equal to 100 hertz, C is 47 microfarad and the coupling capacitors are 0.47 microfarad. So it is connected in the circuit. So uh, once from the circuit, the frequency response curve is drawn and from that the midband gain is calculated. So let us see the circuit here. Here the circuit is rigged up as per the circuit diagram. So by varying the frequency here uh, from 100 hertz to 3 megahertz for an input voltage of uh, around 20 millivolt, which is a sinusoidal voltage, the graph is plotted. So initially input is kept at 20 millivolt and the input frequency is 100 hertz. By varying the input frequency from 100 hertz, we can see the voltages, obtained voltage is 0.5 volt. You can see it here. Next is frequency is varied from 100 hertz in steps, 200 hertz, 300 hertz. We can see a gradual increase in the output voltage. So at a frequency around 1 kilohertz here, we can see the input output voltage which is connected to the channel 2 here it is around 2.4 volt next is by varying the frequency in steps once again 2 kilohertz 3 kilohertz uh, around 20 30 kilohertz we can see it at 30 kilohertz So it is around 3 volt, you can see it here in the output waveform and by varying the frequency still at around 500 kilohertz the voltage is getting reduced. So we can see that voltage which is around 2 volt again. So this is 2 volt and finally at around 3 megahertz the voltage is getting reduced which is around 0.5 volt. So from the readings the gain is calculated that is V out by V in where V in is 20 millivolt. So these are the gains. So we can see it in the mid band gain that is uh, here it is obtained as 120. 
So these values are taken in dB. That is 20 log of the gain is found out. So 43.52 is a mid band gain. So from mm -hmm. here the value will be voltage will remain the same 3 volt. Then after 30 kilohertz the voltage reduces and once again the gain reduces to 27.95.